This is Reed Daly's Come Follow Me podcast. In this podcast series, lesson and scripture audio are combined for a hands-free experience. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is kindly granting permission to use the audio content heard in this podcast. We express our gratitude for their generosity. At the end of this podcast, you can hear our full disclosure statement or read it on readdaily.live. Ideas for Family Scripture Study and Family Home Evening As you read the scriptures with your family, the Spirit can help you know what principles to emphasize and discuss in order to meet the needs of your family. Here are some suggestions. Joseph Smith Matthew To help your family explore this chapter, invite them to look for the Savior's teachings about how we can prepare for His second coming. See, for example, verses 22 through 23. 29 through 30, 37, 46 through 48. For in those days there shall also arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if possible, they shall deceive the very elect, who are the elect according to the covenant. Behold, I speak these things unto you for the elect's sake, and you also shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all I have told you must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Behold, I speak for mine elect's sake, for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. And again, because iniquity shall abound, the love of men shall wax cold but he that shall not be overcome, the same shall be saved. And whoso treasureth up my word shall not be deceived, for the Son of Man shall come, and he shall send his angels before him with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together the remainder of his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. And what I say unto one, I say unto all men, Watch, therefore, for you know not at what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched, and would not have suffered his house to have been broken up, but would have been ready. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. What can your family do to follow this counsel? Joseph Smith, Matthew, chapter 1, verses 22 and 37. For in those days there shall also arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if possible, they shall deceive the very elect, who are the elect according to the covenant. And whoso treasureth up my word shall not be deceived, For the Son of Man shall come, and he shall send his angels before him with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together the remainder of his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. What does it mean to treasure up the Word of God? How can we do this as a family? How will doing so help us avoid being deceived? Matthew chapter 25 verses 1 through 13 You could use the picture of the ten virgins that accompanies this outline to discuss Matthew chapter 25 verses 1 through 13. What details do family members see in the picture that are described in these verses? Would family members enjoy hunting around the house for paper drops of oil that you have hidden? You could attach drops to objects that represent things family members can do to strengthen their testimonies and be prepared for the second coming, such as the scriptures, church clothes, or a picture of the temple. Mark chapter 12, verses 38 through 44. And he said unto them in his doctrine, Beware of the scribes, which love to go in long clothing, and love salutations in the marketplaces, and the chief seats in the synagogues, 
and the uppermost rooms at feasts, which devour widows' houses and for a pretense make long prayers. These shall receive greater damnation. And Jesus sat over against the treasury, and beheld how the people cast money into the treasury, and many that were rich cast in much. And there came a certain poor widow, and she threw in two mites, which make a farthing. And he called unto him his disciples, and saith unto them, Verily I say unto you, that this poor widow hath cast more in than all they which have cast into the treasury. For all they did cast in of their abundance, but she of her want did cast in all that she had, even all her living. Luke chapter 21, verses 1 through 4. And he looked up, and saw the rich men casting their gifts into the treasury. And he saw also a certain poor widow casting in thither two mites. And he said, Of a truth I say unto you, that this poor widow hath cast in more than they all. For all these have of their abundance cast in unto the offerings of God. But she of her penury hath cast in all the living that she had. What can your family members learn from the widow's example? What did the Savior teach His disciples about offerings? Show a tithing donation slip and discuss your family's offerings to the Lord and how these offerings help build God's kingdom. Are there offerings your family is making that can't be recorded on a tithing slip? Improving personal study. Prepare your surroundings. Quote, our surroundings can profoundly affect our ability to learn and feel truth. End quote. From Teaching in the Savior's Way, page 15. Try to find a place to study the scriptures that will invite the influence of the Holy Ghost. Uplifting music and pictures can also invite the Spirit. Thank you for listening to Read Daily's Come Follow Me podcast. Please share this podcast with family members and friends who can find us on readdaily.live or their favorite podcast application. The Intellectual Property Department of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is kindly granting permission to use the audio content heard in this podcast. We express our gratitude for their generosity. Along with granting permission, they ask that we make the following statement. Any products offered by ReadDaily.Live are neither made, provided, approved, nor endorsed by Intellectual Reserve, Inc., or The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Any content or opinions expressed, implied, or included with any goods or services offered by ReadDaily.Live are solely those of Howard Patrick Holman and not those of Intellectual Reserve, Inc., or The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Thank you.